And this is a Lido Toys uh, race car, futuristic art deco pneumatic race car. Missing its wheels. You can see it's stamped Lido, made in USA. It's like the number four there. Very plain, very simple. I fell in love with it instantly. Looks like a Flash Gordon kind of vehicle. Awesome. Oh, right on. Now, I know that the yellow one is missing a helmet, and he's a breakfast cereal premium from Britain, I believe from the 60s, early 60s, something like that, and he should have a helmet. There you can see the collar around the base of his head where the uh, helmet would go, but I've wanted this guy for a while, and in particular the one who was kneeling. I was wondering if his uh, tool maybe had been broken. I still can't tell. Price was right. He's got another one. I'm going to go back and get it. And then this thing here is another parachute jumper astronaut. I guess the lanyard would fit in through his hose there. Are we missing a bit of hose on the other side? Anyway thing has been driving me crazy for ages because it's the same astronaut that's in this thing the parachuting astronaut space landing capsule who was this by again Shimmel and Sons right made in Hong Kong and yeah that's the same guy I've been wanting to open him for ages just to get him out and Try to edit this a little bit better. You see, the, the vendor had it listed as astronaut who won't stand up. And he won't, because he's top heavy, and he's leaning in the wrong way. But he doesn't have to stand up, because he's supposed to go inside of the space capsule. And you fling it up in the air with, uh, yeah, that launching device here. And I guess he gets the parachute, and this thing just falls to the earth or whatever. I want to open it but I'm making myself wait until I can find a second and uh, this will help. So anyway, that's the story with him.